Hey guys, welcome back to Dark Angel Beauty. I am Andy, thank you so much for being here today. Today we are doing something I wanna be excited about doing, but I'm not, and that's upsetting. We're doing my unboxing of my BoxyCharm. And you guys know, I love my BoxyCharm. I do, I love them. I am a huge advocate, I'm a huge supporter. I use their products all the time. I talk about how much I love their products. But unfortunately, this month of August? Is it August? What month is it? Oh my god, it's August of 2019. Holy yikes, this year's gone way by. Okay, August, this August box was incredibly disappointing for me for this reason. It is not that I did not get products that I feel like were worth the value of $21 that I pay for the box. It was more that I saw the different variations of the different products that I could get and I feel like I got the one product in each one of the variations that I did not want. And that's an unfortunate feeling. Um, like I said, the total value of the box is probably still close to $80 or $100. It's not that I didn't get good products, it's not that I didn't get brands that I liked, it is that I just did not feel like I got makeup heavy stuff that I wanted. That being said, we'll dive into it. This month's box theme was totally, I think, yeah, totally. It was like 80s vibe, but I just didn't feel like they gave me 80s stuff. Like I wanted a palette that had bright colors or I wanted, you know, hairspray or something that felt 80s and it didn't feel like that. It felt like, oh, they put a lot of pink stuff in it, but it wasn't pink products, it was pink packaged stuff. So that being said, we'll jump into it. Um, I'll go ahead and show you guys first. I've heard, I love Alexandria Ryan. I love her videos. She's a great unboxer. She has tons of uns, of subscription boxes that she is a member of. And Bakhti Charm is one of them. And she talks about how she only gets Wander Beauty products in those boxes. She gets them in Etsy and Boxy Charm. And I feel like that too. I got the Wander Beauty Glow Ahead Illuminating Face Oil. I like Wander Beauty. I did one of their peel off masks in one of my skincare videos. Basically from reading about this, it's an oil, you put a little bit in, you rub it into your skin and it's supposed to bring out your natural illumination and make you look dewy and fresh faced. So I'm interested to try it. It's not that I'm not interested, it's just that I'm kind of like, meh, would I buy this on my own? Nah. Do I think it's gonna like change my life? Probably not. I may come back and change my mind later, but I just, I was kind of like neutral about it, I guess. Just like, whatever. And that's kind of how I feel about this next product as well. This is the Pure Times Barbie Glitterly Pink Brightening Peel Off Mask. I love Pure Cosmetics, I genuinely do. I really like them as a brand. The Pure My Little Pony palette has been in my box for now, or my bag, my makeup bag for like two months and I've used it really regularly. I brought it with me to Disney. I used it almost the entire trip. I think at least one or two colors were used every eye look I made pretty much. But I just, honestly, if I'm being real, I'm just kind of like sick of getting masks in my boxy charm. I'm okay every other month, but like I feel like every month I get one. The option was between this and like a, two different shaded eye colors and I much would I would have much rather preferred to get the eye colors and I didn't get them and I just was really disappointed getting this. I've seen people do like product testing of it and it's a cool colored mask. It's like vibrant pink. I'm sure it'll look really cool if I do it in one of my next skincare videos, which I probably will just because it's a really pretty mask to see on. But I just, I just don't know how to explain it other than I, these are just products I didn't want. And that's so negative and I don't like being that negative, but it was just was kind of like, seriously, all these options of products and you sent me everything that I was like, I don't really want to get that. Anywho. These next ones probably were the redemption factors for the box. Um, I've got the Tarte Big Ego Mascara. Like I said, I never purchased my mascaras and it's, it's a vibrant pink, just the pinkest pink you could possibly imagine. 
And secretly I was hoping because there is this huge trend in colored mascara that it was going to be pink or it was going to be colored at all. It's not, it's a normal black mascara. It looks almost identical to, if you guys can see it, to the um, Better Than Sex from Too Faced mascara. So I have about six of those in my collection between like three big sized ones and three mini ones and probably more than even that. Those are just what I can picture in my mind right now. So I was just kind of like, I just feel like nothing is new or revolutionary or exciting or a good addition to my makeup collection. And that's, I think why I'm so negative in feelings about this particular box. Um, whatever. I, I don't like being negative. I hate being negative, but I just, I did get, and I'm probably the most excited for this particular product just because I've never used it before. This is a Hydra Mist Set and Refresh Powder from Becca Cosmetics. It is in a nice, like, neutral shade for me. I don't know if you guys can see it or not. It is very fair. It will make a very nice setting powder, I'm sure. So I am excited to test that out because my, um, my powder foundation, my dry foundation, my setting powder collection is getting very low. So this is a nice, big, obviously full-sized product that I can incorporate into that. And hopefully I'll like the way that it works with me. I've heard nothing but good things about it. So this was actually the one product I was very excited to get. However, I will say that I'm pretty sure everybody got this in their box. Or one of these, there were two different, they cherry. All around me are familiar faces. There were two different shade variations. Those are the words I was looking for from the start. There are two different shade variations. Um, and this was the lighter one, obviously. I have a very fair skin tone, so this was the one that I was sent, thankfully. The last product is virtually useless for me because <laughs> we've all seen how well I do with fake lashes, but nonetheless, I got some luxury lashes from Lashaholic. And honestly, they come in this beautiful little gold packaging. They are, oh, I hooked myself. How did I do that? This is my strong arm. <laughs> I broke Mickey on that one. We're so tired, both of us. Oh my God, that's terrible. But these are gorgeous lashes. They're so long, they're so pretty. Look at how nice they are. I'm not going to be able to put them on. I don't know what I'm going to do with them. Maybe I'll send them to somebody in a giveaway. Maybe I'll save them for another failed attempt. I don't know. I just feel like everything in this box is something that I was kind of like, I guess I'll figure out when to use it. And that's a really bad feeling to have with a subscription box. The idea of a subscription box to me is supposed to be that you're getting products that you can use and that you're excited for, but you would never really buy on your own. I would never buy these on my own pretty much any of them because I don't care about them. And that's like a really negative way to feel about it. It's just, I hate being negative, especially when I'm always like, Boxy Charm, sponsor me. But I'm not gonna lie to you guys and I'm not gonna keep my honest opinions out because I'm trying to get better views or I'm trying to get sponsored. I don't care about that enough to let it alter my opinion. So this is how I feel about it. This entire box, everything I was given, not bad stuff by any means, decent stuff, not at all what I was looking for with it. And the fact that I just got virtually zero color, and no color at all, no colored products at all, when it's supposed to be an 80s themed box is stupid in my opinion. Like they could have easily thrown in a couple really pretty pigmented eyeshadows, a pretty palette, anything, blush, Anything that would give me some sort of face color, and I got none of that. I got uh, two skincare products, uh, fake lashes, basically two eye products that were eyelash based, two face products, three face products if you want to include the setting powder. That to me is just not, I just, it's not 80s. It's not really going with the theme of the mask. Like all the packaging was pink maybe, but it just... I feel like it was the biggest miss for the two years that I've been a subscriber to BoxyCharm. Really, if I had not gotten this month at all, I would have been fine with it. And that's sad. So I'm sorry this was the negative video. I don't like saying negative things about 
companies that I really truly care about. I do care about BoxyCharm. I'm not going to cancel my subscription by any means, but this month I hope is not a looking glass into the future of what months to come is going to be because if it is, I'm going to be really disappointed and I probably will eventually cancel because this just was not at all what I was looking for with this box. So I know I was brutally honest. I know I was probably harsher than normal because I'm exhausted because we just got home from Disney today. I'm exhausted. Now you guys know how I feel about this month. So if you guys like the video, please give it a thumbs up. If you like our channel, please subscribe, hit the notification bell. We are really trying to hit 100, 100 subscribers. That way we can do our first giveaway. And after that, we're really trying to hit 1,000 subscribers. We're going to do another big, big giveaway. And then we're finally, um, we can finally apply to be monetized. And then hopefully we'll be able to put even more time, money, and effort into the channel. Because right now we're still working full-time jobs and trying to do the channel. So it's just a lot right now. But if you guys like it, please subscribe. I love you guys all very, very much. And I hope you have a wonderful day. And stay girly with a dark twist.